All right, everyone, 2010 F-150. You know, I do a video, and I say to myself, I'm going to take a break for a week or two. Then, like, six hours later, I find myself grabbing the camera again. Maybe somebody will enjoy this. I don't know. But uh, I'm doing some body work. Yeah, I had to cut a section out there. I'm going to be putting another section in on the bottom there, so it'll pass inspection. Typical northeast, you know, truck. Overall, it's not in too bad a shape. Uh, this front brake caliper is stuck um you let up on the brake you can hear it go and slowly release but right now if i take a crowbar I, that's the only way i can turn this and so uh, my attempt here is going to try and free up this caliper i'm gonna take it off take it apart clean it put it back together um sometimes you know i see people having good results other times well <laughs> they have to spend 80 or 90 dollars for a caliper and that's what this one would probably cost because it is a huge caliper these are 18 inch wheels um let me set the camera up here all right so this is the only way you can turn this and oh, you can see it completely froze up and what's really weird is look at all this anti-seize that's on this wheel this is just insane I don't know where it's coming from but I do know that I do have a bad tie rod in of course what else is new there and you can see this is something else I want to have to order so having said that we're gonna try and get this off here looks like these bolts here back here probably 12 or 13 and there's only two of these, and this whole thing just sits on here and floats. Um, I need to check the brake pads anyway, although they look like they might actually be pretty good. So let's see if we can get this off here. I don't know how well my attempt is going to be. It might be successful. If it is, I'm going to save myself 100 bucks, but we'll try it anyway. Let's see if we can get this off first. And by the way, if you're uh, slightly confused, the reason I took the wheel off is because i got to get this inner fender out, this plastic piece here off. So I want to pull part of this fender back because I got a little place up under the cab here. I've got to replace and the fender's in a way and I don't want to scratch it. So I figured I'd just uh, knock off two birds with uh, 15 stones. Sometimes you know how that goes. All right, let's see if we can get this off. I figured if I take it off now and let it set a couple of night, days or nights in some kind of liquid gas or oil or kerosene, it might help free it up also. And uh, actually it's a 14 mil. And uh, I don't know, these brakes look like they've been on for, well, that surprisingly was really easy. Someone must have had this off before, but you can see just how rusty this thing is. This is a northeast truck. Although the only place it's bad is under the rocker panels and had a little bit of rust frame, rusty frame, surface rust, but other than that, uh, it's a very nice truck. It's well worth fixing. So, probably be my main driver this winter. All right, so we got that one out, and let's see. I'm hoping <laughs> with these, it's got some slight grooves in the rotors now. I'm wondering if we can. We're gonna be able to get this off of here. Oh boy. I can see this is gonna be. Oh boy, no, a no go. I'm going to have to get a pry bar. Maybe if we rock it back and forth a bunch of times, it'll come off. But that is going to be a... That's going to be tight to get off. So let me get a breaker bar and a hammer here. All right. We'll see what we can get done here. You can always wear glasses because a lot of times when you're hitting this rust, it will fly back and get in your eyes. See all that rust? And... Stuff flying around, it's like shrapnel. You gotta be careful. Goodness, <laughs> that's one there. I can't push the calipers back because, um, like I said, the thing's frozen right now, and that would be pointless. And oh, I'd probably end up destroying my brake pads if they're good. I don't want to. Oh, 
That's what I get for buying a truck. God. Come on, you ain't got much further to go. <laughs> Live action. There was a reason why it was so hard to get off. That rotor's probably got some slight grooves in it, and that was catching it. So there's the caliper. That's, I don't know. I gotta let it hang here somewhere. Sit. Uh, all right. Let's check our brakes. Actually, the brakes are in pretty good shape. I'm surprised. Yeah, alright, so now we can turn this. I don't know where all that anti seize came from. I'll probably end up taking this bracket off and taking this rotor off. And look in there, the wheel bearing seems okay. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna pinch this line. Um, well what I should do is go ahead and put a piece of wood here and go in there and pump the brake and pop these completely out. Now I take a chance of not getting them back in, but I think if we clean them up we can get them back in and get the seals in so that's what we're going to try to do so let me get a pair of pliers all right i think you can kind of see that i got some rags here we're just going to go in there and pump that pedal until these pop out and fluid might fly everywhere and if it does then you can call me all kind of names i don't care but uh, we'll see if we can get these off here Down where I can actually see two. So here we go. Three, Okay, well, the back one's moving, but I really want, we got to get the front one moving. Okay, so I had to start the thing up to get enough power to actually get it to, uh, to, to do do anything. So let, let's do this. All right, so i got a block of wood up here. I don't want this top piston to come out any farther. That should stop it. I want to get this one to start moving, so I'm going to have to go in there and start the vehicle up and pump the crap out of it until this one frees up. I can see out the window, so let's go do that. We'll get it out of there somehow. We got it moving. All right, so the back one's pretty much. All right, we're just gonna go ahead and pump it the rest of the way until it pop out. All right, so I don't. We can get this one to come out some more. Alright, 
so that one's I think the okay good that one's out yay now did I get this one out can I get it out you can't tap on them because they're ceramic they're like a real light I don't know I'm not sure what the material is but well so at this point all we can do is go ahead and get a rubber hammer and although I can move it it may come out let me get a rubber hammer I got my rubber hammer here. I know some of you are thinking, what in the hillbilly hills he doing? Alright, it's it's moving. If I take a very big pair of vice grips and grip this right on the outside, twist it, it should come out. So let me try that. Alright, so I got my farm store vice grips on here. These are only eight dollars, these are nice. All right, yeah, we're turning it. Good, 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 good. All right, so. I think this is the one that was froze up. And as soon as I pull this apart, there's going to be fluid going everywhere, so I need to get a bucket. But this is how you can free these up. Then get your memory cloth, go in here and clean all this up. Put them back together and see if that will save you some money. So uh, we'll see if this works. Hey, let me know where you're watching from right now. All right, let's go ahead and get this off here. I tried to put a pair of vice grips on this line, but you can't, it won't let you close it off. It must be a, another uh, piece in the center of it that you can't crush. So, probably going to make a mess, but I'm glad I got this off. I just checked online. They want $90 for a new one, or a, re a remand one, or whatever. So... So I'm gonna hang this line up. It should stop dripping. Gee, how long is that? Oh, there it is. Okay. Should be a washer on the other side. Yep, there it is. Copper washer. So I need to. Okay, we'll just leave all this in. I actually didn't leak hardly at all. So we'll put this together. We'll pull this up, tie it up, get it out of the way without breaking anything else tonight. Well, actually, I haven't broken anything else. Just, you know, you never know. Uh, all right. Now I've got plenty of brake fluid, so keep an eye on that, and we'll go in here and look at this. Tell you what, before we do anything else, I kind of got ahead of myself. I want to... All right, great. These pens are in great shape. Excellent. Because this can be a, just a pain if these are all rotted out and... Rust it out. Now we gotta get to these uh, massive bolt tear out on this uh, bracket. I want to see where all this uh, stuff here is coming from. So let's get these big bolts off. These are 15, six, uh, 13 sixteenths, six point. All right, let's see if we can get this auto jar tool here to work. Still rocking this thing. I had to break a take that breaker bar and put some muscle into these bolts. All right. That I'm anxious to see where all this anti seize is coming from. That and I may order some slotted rotors for this thing. These are 18 inch real. Oh, these are heavy. All right, so I guess they just someone worked on it before and they just decided to put a lot of it on there, I guess. Everything seems to be okay, just tie a rod in. All right, so we got some grooves, but it's not terrible. So I'll check and see what the slotted rotors cost. I might just go ahead and put some on it. All right, let's see what we got here. Kind of got a mess here, but well, those look pretty smooth. Got a little bit of a scratch right there. And of course, it's always a challenge getting these seals back in. Um, but there is a way you can pop them out. I want to see what this one looks like. This is the one that was froze up, I can tell. See all this right here? So these are in good shape. Now if you hit these, these will bust and crack, so you cannot hit them. So we're just going to clean these up. Check the inside of the caliper here. Check all the seals. 
and put everything back together we'll put some more kerosene here and let it kind of soak and all that so that's how you get these off if you want to um, try to fix yours uh, these are TRW I don't know if this is the original Ford OEM probably is but uh, there you go so let's see what we can get done next all right surprisingly these actually came out and the seals are good and and there's the o-ring for the piston and the whole idea is you can put this in and work it back and forth a bunch of time before you put these seals back in that's what we're going to eventually do but i want to show you take a little screwdriver and get up here on the outer edge now hopefully yours is not rusting already rotted so uh just get in here behind here like this kind of go around there like that and typically they'll come out but I have poured my share of them just because, you know, mainly on the old, older vehicles, the 2000s and the late 90 models. And that's how you get that out. So, and of course, the seal, if you want the seal out, you just go in here with a screwdriver like this. Let's just go ahead and just take it out and check it. Looks great. And same thing on this one. And uh, let's see if we can get that in there. Hey, I'll, I'm all about saving money. I don't know about you guys. So these seals are in excellent shape. I don't even see any cracking. So, so like I said, the whole idea is now is take the piston, put it back in here, and work it back and forth a bunch of times. And you can see that one's kind of tight, fits tight. And this one's a little bit better. So see, that one works great. This one over here, I'll take some memory cloth and go in here, clean that up. So at this point, what we're just going to go ahead and do is start putting everything back together. It's nice and clean. Uh, they go in and out. And you can see I got my seals here. We'll lube these up with a little bit of brake fluid. And we'll just put everything back together. So kind of take our time here at it. We'll lock these seals in and all that. You'll have to pull these out like this and start them over that like that. Then drop them in. Pretty easy to do. And we should be able to save our caliper. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, so we've got this one in here. No problems. Um, typically, I'll take something like this. Make sure it's started straight. And uh, do something like this and slowly push it in. If it gets into a bind, you got to make sure it's not going in crooked. Look at it. Get a little rubber hammer and kind of tap around on the edges. So this one here, the seal's in. I have just a little bit of grease out here, not much, and some uh, fluid. Try to keep it as clean as you can. And we have to break fluid in there. And we'll just shove this in here like this. Now you can put the seal on halfway uh, when it's halfway in, or you can just do it now. I'll wait till it's halfway on. Then I'll put the seal in. And then kind of make sure everything where the seal goes in is clean. You can use some lock thread uh, stuff on the seal if you want. But usually they just kind of push in. And uh, they usually stay in. So we're going to stick this one in. Well, I don't know, maybe you could just watch me put this one in then. So we've got it kind of started there, and it's straight, and I've got it eyeballed, and there it goes in. I mean, we're going to save some money here, so it's worth a try, right? But these should be okay now, and there we go. So take this off, and we'll go ahead and put our seal on, tap it in there, and... Uh, We'll be just about done here and we'll stick this on and we should be in pretty good shape all right so there it is within reason should last for quite some time we might try to paint it up even if i had a sander had a uh, sandblaster i don't think it would clean up that much because it's slightly pitted but you know for what i just did still it should work so we'll go ahead and stick it on put your brake pads on and see if she releases now when I let up on the brake and if we can turn that rotor. All right, guys, she's all back together. We've got our bleeder on there. We've got a little loose. We're going to put some brake fluid out. We're going to pump it a few times and see if this uh, will actually release. I even painted the uh, brake uh, pads just so you can uh, look in there during the inspection and see how much pad is left on there. So uh, go ahead and start pumping up here and see what we got. All right, guys, so I pumped them. I bled them a little bit. We got all the uh, air out of the uh, caliper there and uh, into the piston. We got everything bleeded, and now I can turn this a lot easier. Not locked up no more. 
and I can go in and hit the brake and release it. Now you can see it's no longer locked up. So, yeah, I know I got some paint on there. I'll have to clean that off. But I'm actually going to be putting slotted rotors on here. So, no longer locked up. Yeah, I can almost turn it with my hand now. So, there you go. Looks like we saved it. All right, guys, so there you go. Sometimes if you try, well, sometimes you'll win. So, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, until my next video, and I'll see you later. But wait, there's more. All right, some bonus video for you guys. I decided to go ahead and replace this brake line because my suspicion is that this thing is partially stopped up because uh, the brake does sometimes release a little slow, although the caliper is free. Picked up another brake line um, for about $24 free shipping. If you buy these at a local parts store, it's gonna cost you double that. So if you can wait, get online or get on eBay and uh, Get yourself a decent deal, I guess. Now, the only trick here is have your torch on standby because a lot of times when you go to try to take these brake lines off, this whole line here will turn with this right here and you will twist this off. So what you gotta do is heat this up, just slowly rock it back and forth. It may take three or four minutes, but eventually it'll come loose. And you can see this one's coming loose now. That way you don't snap your line and all that. So uh, just so you know, this does take a little patience here, and I think I've done some videos in the past. So now we can go ahead and replace this line. I got everything here. Should be pretty easy to do. No bleeding really to worry about. I can bleed it right here at the bleeder. So a little extra video for you guys. Just so you know, take your line off. If you think your line might be bad, you should be able to blow through it, but we'll check this. But I got a sneaky suspicion this thing is probably uh, block, blocked off. I've had this problem with other vehicles in the past before. If your if your uh, caliper is not releasing as soon as you let up on the brake, so just so you know. All right, and there's the brake line. Let me blow through it here and see what we got. Yep, my suspicions were correct. That thing is completely plugged up. Yay! So we got us a new one to put in. How about that? All right, let's get the new one on. All right, guys, just like that, she's all done, and uh, we got our bleeder here open and. She's pouring out, and basically we can close this up. The system is pretty much blood. And there's our new line, and there's the old one. So uh, I had my suspicions that might be a problem. So always check your lines if you're doing brake jobs, in case you have a problem on one side. So let's go ahead and check it out here. All right, so I went inside, pumped the brake, and look at that. We can turn it now. Not locked up anymore. Thanks going to be okay. We Push down on a couple times there. Hold her down. We got a full pedal. And I should be able to turn this pretty easy. No problem. Turns real easy. So, always check the brake line, you never know. Alright guys, as promised, that is the end of the video. And uh, if you like any of my videos, give me a thumbs up. See you later.